Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing great too. Hello. Okay. One minute late. <laughs> Traffic. So, how was your day at work? Uh, I have vacations for this week. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just this week? I only just this week because for uh, Fiesta Patronales. Mm. Mm -hmm. Holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So why why are you having vacations if it is the town hall, the one in charge? Yes, but they have a committee of festivals. A committee? Okay. Committee, yes. A party committee? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, okay. That's irony. That's irony, actually. Today is Monday, December 6th. We're just missing 11 more days. Wait a minute. Mm, yeah, 11 more days and you're on vacations of the English classes, right? Okay. Where are the others? Can hear you. You're supposed to be speaking already. I'm supposed to be listening to a lot of noise right now, people talking. We're just 10 right now. Where are the others? Four. Okay, so let me do the attendance. We're 11 already. I'm just gonna run the attendance so we can get that step done. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Doc, doc, doc. Hey, there you are. Hey. It's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ada. Okay, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina Nivel Romero Avelino. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Present. Yes. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Yes. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. <coughs> okay. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Are you sick, Johnny? Yeah, teacher. Oh my God. Yeah. I've been so sick. You've been sick. That's why you haven't been to classes. I got it. Okay. Hope you get well soon. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. There, I got you, Mike. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Here. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Ale uh, William Alexander Rodriguez Flores. <laughs> Present. Thank you. <laughs> Suleyme Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Yeah, yeah. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. This is not here yet. 
Can you imagine if your father or your mother didn't know English, but they like the word welcome? Being called welcome Vladimir Portillo Chavez or welcome Alexander Rodriguez Flores. Oh my God. Uh, there's a, one of the guards in my neighborhood. His name is Walker. Walker. Like Walker. Walker. Yeah. Ooh. But he doesn't like you to call him Walker. Cor he corrects you. My name is Walker. Walker. Like Walter. Like Walter. Walter. You know, he likes to be called Walker. That's that's weird things, you know, like Daisy, Margarita. What was it? Daisy, Margaret, Margarita. Daisy, Margaret, Margarita. Okay. Good. So tell me, how's your job doing? How's everything going in your life? Talk to me. Oh my God, I my day, my, uh, I had a really tough day today. I'm really tired. You're tired? Well, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I'll try to be nice. Okay, we have an exam today, guys. It's just 50 questions. <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> Come on, guys. Recording has stopped. Yeah, no more. I know. Hey, we're almost done. It's just 11 days. Well, 10 for you, I guess. Hold on. Let me see. 11 days, like nine days for you, I think. Something like that. So we're almost done. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, thank you for completing the platform. All of you, you made it through the intermediate exam. It's really nice. Mm. So today we're supposed to talk about the fundamentals of warehouse management. Fundamentals of warehouse manager management. What is a warehouse, by the way? I don't know. What is a warehouse? A warehouse is, uh, is in Spanish is bodega, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this big place where, where you keep things. Mm -hmm. We just store things, right? Merchandise or furniture. Or, or in your case, money. That's not a warehouse. That's a safe, right? No, it's not a warehouse. It's a bowl, isn't it? Uh, a safe. Yeah, the safe is where you keep the big money. Are you safe over there? Yes, yeah, safe. Safe. That's the way you say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's where you have the inventory. Do you know something about your inventory, Katie? <laughs> Man, I don't know. How do you keep the inventory of, of the money? Is it just like I have $1,100 bills, I have a million one dollar bills and so on. It's not that hard. Really? You order the money. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not that hard. It's, not, it's, it's kind of easy. You, uh, you sum by, by denomination, hundreds, twenties, mm -hmm. fifties, coins, that's what I was thinking. And the yeah. sum of all of that, they say, mm -hmm. is the total amount. It's not. It's not hard. I know there are things that you cannot say. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I like a movie, The Transporter. Um, I think that's the name of the movie now. Uh, Jumper. Jumper. Have you watched that movie where this guy jumps to whatever place he wants in the world? And so no. he visits, he visits a bank. The first idea that he got as a kid 
is to visit a bank and go to the bathroom. And he knew that he had to go by, to pass by the safe. And he sees the safe from the inside. And at night, he thinks about the safe inside. He jumps into the safe and he stones a lot of money. But he leaves no trace because he just teletransports inside the, the safe. That's crazy. I mean, wow. Amazing powers. He never uses doors. He just thinks about it and jumps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds crazy. Wow. But being inside of a boat is terrifying. No oxygen inside. Yeah, that's gonna be. You, you cannot be claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. If you have, if you go there, how often do you go into the safe? Just out of curiosity. Daily. Daily. Okay. Okay. And you have a system, right? Every bank has a system to classify. Um, Deteriorated, deteriorated bills. You have to return them back to the BCR, right? To the Banco Central de Reserva, right? The bills that don't work anymore. Uh huh. Yeah, we do. Hey, is that mm -hmm. true? We take send them out, to the treasury. Take me out of this, um, this ignorant question. I don't know. Ever since I was a kid, I have wondered if I have. The house of a five dollars bill, does it worth anything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to have uh, more than the half. More than a half. If you have more than the half, it works. If you don't have, if you have less than the half of the bill, it doesn't work anymore. You lost it. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I have three quarters, you know, like three parts. Of the bill, it's still and one good. of one of the series has to be okay, complete. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> everybody's thinking, Oh my god, that bill <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy! Oh my god, okay, good guys. So, tonight, where, where do we start? What was the last thing we talked about? Do you remember? We saw a video uh, for supply chain. Supply chain. Yeah, we were reviewing. We were reviewing last topic, right? Of uh, unit two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tonight we're going to start directly with your book uh, so we can have a conversation later. I don't know. I will leave it to you. Would you like to just have an open conversation to warm up, or do you want to jump straight to the to the topic? Let me know. I have the option going at last with the conversation, or or starting right now with the conversation. What do you think? Let's end up with the conversation. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Okay. Yeah, because uh, at the end, maybe we're a little bit more tired. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. tired. You still got us. <laughs> oh, thank at this you. Point. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a good way to start a class, in my opinion, is having a conversation. Um, good. We're going to do two activities to start this class. The first one, just go to conversation starters on your device, your computer or your cell phone. There's the link on your WhatsApp chat. So you can just have any conversation. Just jump, select a question, answer it. One important thing is for you to make WH questions, remember. So um, if I start a conversation with Yuri, Yuri, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Judy, what is the longest that you've stayed awake for? What is the longest that you have stayed awake for? Mm -hmm. 
from what place? Uh, I don't know if I understand. <laughs> what is the longest period of time that you have been awake for? No sleeping. How long? A uh, week. Uh, three days. Three days without sleeping. Yes. Are you out of your mind? It, it was a study for a certification and I had a, a really stressed for that exam. And I I was studying maybe for three days without sleep anything and it was so hard for me. But did you make it? Yes, I get it. <laughs> did, did you get did you get a good grade? Yes, uh, it was. I I remember that I, I got that certification with other students from other different universities, and at the end, just maybe maybe five or seven students just passed at the first at the first the first, first round. The first round. First round. Mm -hmm. What? Hey, congratulations! You see. Thank you. It's worth it. It's good. Okay, so you see, I can ask why, where, how, what was it about? Really? Are you using that certification nowadays? Uh, when I when I began to work, that that op that opened my my I opened the opportunity to get a a good job. Now is yeah, I I I don't use it anymore no but way. in that time i in that time was a good opportunity for me so you say it it was useful back then it was useful back then it was useful but then useful useful yeah it was useful is what back, useful back then in aquel back entonces, then. in aquel mm. entonces, guys, it was useful back then. Fue útil en aquel entonces. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. You see, so make WH questions. Did it give you more money? Did it give you more money having this certification? Yes. That's it. You see, questions, questions. Okay, let's go. Have a normal conversation. Stick, stick, stick. I gotta hear you. Here you are, Johnny. Are you right? <laughs> uh, I've seen. I've been bad. <laughs> uh, did you did you go to the doctor? Mm. What? Uh, sorry, I, I don't hear. Uh, did you did you go to the doctor? Uh, yeah, I went to the doctor. But I had problem with that. Uh, yeah. I am as as I say asthmatic, asthmatic. Uh, that is because you you look very affected on uh, like maybe I don't know but maybe uh, a little flu is is big for you because you yeah are, dog that dog or something you're allergic maybe. to dogs yeah I am very 
and you look in your bones. You look in your bones. Uh, I so hard. <laughs> you look wasted. Okay, come on, guys. Start the conversation with one of the questions from the questions generator and have a conversation. Come on. Hey guys, I have a question. What is your dream job? What is what? Your dream job. That is a hard, hard question because maybe if i don't know what what i want but in this case uh, i am a developer maybe <coughs> my, i uh, i i'm going to be to become a supervisor i i stop development developing and i only supervise personally I stop start to develop in I I I I am um, I had been a developer for six seven years almost and maybe if I, I want to to upgrade in my job I I want to be a supervisor and I on the supervise not develop develop this more it's more hard <laughs> for me. <laughs> it's harder. In my oh, case, you, I don't yeah. have. In my case, I don't have a a dream about a job. Just I want to get money. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you if you. If you are promoted in your job, you to get more money. Yes, it's true. But in this moment, I just I want to to make money. And I, I think that is a good opportunity to get money. I wanna oh. get money. I want money too. <laughs> I have to work hard for. Money. Yes, yes money. It says, uh, would you rather be stuck in a house with someone you hate or mm -hmm. be stuck in a house alone? Alone. <laughs> Come on. I prefer that. Oh. What about you? Yeah. I prefer to be stuck in the house alone. Yeah, it's better to stay alone because you are, um, I don't know, you are calm. You can do all the things that you want. <laughs> yeah, it's better. It's better alone. Um, let me see another question. What's one of your worst habits? Okay. I don't know how to say teacher. This one. You don't know how to say. say. Wait, I can I can hear you. Go ahead, William. Ah, uh, como comerse, cortarse las uñas así. Ah, uh, oh, chew your nails. You chew your ah, nails. Chew, chew. Ah, oh, yeah, chew by nails. You just cut your nails with your teeth. Literally. When I am nervous. 
when you're nervous, mm. nervous, nervous, yeah, or stress. Okay, I don't know. Uh, for me, maybe I can't. I can hide my emotions, my face, and my expression talks. I don't need words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If, if uh, I don't like uh, something, it's easy to know. Okay. And uh, I watch a lot of TikTok. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but meanwhile, you are working or your free time? In my free time, but I I I feel that I waste my time. <laughs> yeah. But I, I I say uh only watch one or two videos in when I you take uh, out. Yeah, I I I last one, two hours watching videos on TikTok. Yeah, we have to, to read. Yeah, um, I think that two years ago, uh, I read, I, I used to read uh, books, it, it, it many books. Read. Uh, I used to read many books, but I can continue with a book. I, I have a book, the name is, La Historia Sin Fin is so interesting, but it's a, a big book because have around 1,000 pages. And I only read uh, 600, around 600, but I can finish that book because I start with... Um, other things, for example, with my craft uh, to get some extra money for my job. And I don't know where is the book now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's my, it's my goal for the next question. Okay. The next one. Erwin, yes. your turn. Fine. I have a question for you. Um, I, I'm sorry, but Mike is working, just so you know. Mike is working, but he's here just as a listener because he's got a lot of work right now. Okay. okay. Thank you. Baby. Baby. Hello. What do you think about the Bitcoin city? Is right the back? What do I think about? Bitcoin city. Bitcoin city? Yes. You know, I, I think um, virtual coin is the future. So for me, uh, money as we know it right now is going to disappear. Everything is going to be electronic. So this is just a step more. Another step. We better get used to this kind of coin. But Erwin is, is mm -hmm. uh, talking about Bitcoin here, right? Or... Uh -huh. Bitcoin City. Mm -hmm. Well, it should be uh, improving with with the new the new way to pay, new ways to pay. Otherwise, we will be left behind. Bitcoin City or yeah. uh, 
uh, I don't know, all will be free, but you have to buy a Bitcoin to be part of the city. I was listening to a, a podcast. You guys got your Chivo wallet already or not? What? You got your Chivo wallet? Yes, already? I have. Really? Yes. But you were winning. You got your Chivo wallet already? Yes, I have. But the, the last week, I take the RPP, the APP, the last week. Mm -hmm. My son. And maybe it's the time when I have uh joining the join with my husband and my son this is my best part of day okay in your case Ara? this is the best part of my day in my case it's a full night of sleep early i get up late and carry out <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, perfect. Yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> long time. What happened when you sleep? You and Josue only sleep. Yeah, the sleep. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, I I choose other question. Um, What was the last movie you saw? What? Last movie. What the last movie you saw? I don't know what you say, but it's the it's the new movie when the, the jungle, the journal jungle, maybe I don't know. It's, I don't remember that is correct. Journal jungle with the rock. Journal mm. jungle, maybe in in Disney Plus. Yeah. Yeah. Movie. I remember. I usually saw series, no, no movie. The last series that I saw is the suit. Suits. Yeah, suits. Is interesting and it has like yeah it has eight um uh, seasons is a big uh, a big um, series it's interesting because you saw uh, uh, lawyers and and uh, councils and it's different context. In my case, I love to the movie to stay my by my side and I the policy series and investigation. CSI Miami. <laughs> <laughs> CSI Miami. And the like criminal the, <laughs> the law and order. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like to the say, serious criminal series. Series, maybe I don't know. It's correct. Say, series. Criminal. Criminal series two. 
I like, I like criminal, criminal series. series two. Two. That that two goes at the end. Two. Two. Me too. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's very interesting. 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 Yeah. Uh, Chef Joy uh, has two years uh, in the from the from the creation, so I ha I have that that is the time that I have to learn because uh, that framework is the new and you uh, like it that is the old, so I have to to start to use Chef Joy in. For developing my my apps, so I have to learn it. I don't have that time. I don't have time to learn. Yes, <laughs> but I, I will try. I will what try. is the what is the idea that you use for your application for develop your application? Uh, the idea that your your framework like a ah. Uh, the, the in iOS uh, for the for the views the, the framework that uh, iOS born was born uh, uh, is UIKit UIKit for the view and Objective C to the to the programming language to, for example for the controllers models and now is Swift Swift is the programming language for everything even the views using Swift UI. Uh, is it was made for Swift, so that is uh, iOS is is a is I I like iOS a lot, but uh, I I have knowledge about another <laughs> language. Too. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Too much jargon. Come on. Too much jargon. You know what's jargon, right, sir? No. What's jargon. jargon, Luis? Luis knows. You don't know what's jargon, Luis? No. Okay. no. These are technical words. Technical words of each, uh, uh, what? Specification, I don't know. Specific um, topic, let's say. For example, if Luis starts talking to us about uh, logistics, you know, and all that, and he starts talking about Inco terms, We'll go like that. <laughs> I create an application using an income term. I remember that I that it was complicated when the 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 logistic explain the, the 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 I don't remember what is the area, but they they have a specific way to create uh, parameters to apply when they receive a product from uh, from Chinese China, for example. Uh, that was complicated that area, but I, I did. Point of shipping, the point of shipping, the Embark point, yeah. Yeah, that's why they created them because the price in reality varies, right, Luis? Uh, I mean, the cost of transporting an item from China to El Salvador, it varies as well um, upon docking. You know what is docking, right? I think that's the term. I think I still remember you. They dock the ship. They dock the ship. And if you take too long to, uh, oh my God, how do you say this? I forgot. To move the, the product to the mm -hmm. port, this, imply, this movement implies money. Yeah. Especially if you don't have workers from the ship to move the items. Mm -hmm. So it's a different price. So that's called uh, freight on board. Freight on board, I think, FOB, Bob, is that you have your own quadrilla, your own fleet of workers, and they go on the ship, they take the items off the ship. Okay, freight off board, off board means that they will do it for you. They will put it on the floor and then you pick it up. And that's more expensive. Makes sense, right? Yeah. There's even a freight on. Jumbo. Yeah. Jumbo. That's jargon. 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 
<laughs> yeah, if you start talking about motherboards and how you disassemble the graphics card and the RAM and oh my god, it's funny. Yeah, it's a funny word, but it works. You know, when I was a Dell technician, giving support over the phone to very old people, I didn't go. Ah, yeah. Okay, sure. unplug the wire. <laughs> what? What is the wire? What do you mean by wire? The cable, the power cable. Oh wait, the electrical cable. Do, 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 so, so, do, do. Sorry, I I was all panic. I am the tunnel. No, it's okay. The blue, the blue, the blue, the blue cable is. I was the. I am the tonic. I, you I, didn't understand. <laughs> Unplug the power cable. They were like, "What? What do you mean wire? The black cable? The, the power cable? Oh, okay, hold on." <laughs> and I called them back. Right? Hello, hello. I was talking to you. You hang up the phone. I. You, I unplugged the power cable of my house. You said, turn off the power cable. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> or the other one, Fernando. Okay. Uh, turn, uh, what was it? Open the window. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just opened the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And the worst case of all, a laptop, a mini laptop. I need you to remove the battery of the laptop. Are you crazy? There's no battery in my computer. There is a cable that goes to the wall. There's no battery. You don't know what you're doing. I'm like, uh, sir, there's a small lithium battery on the back of your computer that you plug with two latches, you know? Oh, <laughs> they were like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was great i miss those days okay let's take it back it's time okay okay i think you like this activity right this is just about speaking that's all it matters. Okay, I'll give you five more minutes of fun. I'll give you five more minutes of fun. Heidi, what is something that you've never done but would like to try? Something that you have never done, but you would like to try for one time in your life. I would like to travel to, to Santorini. It's the second time I hear that name in my life. Where is Santorini? Uh, it's Greek island. It's a Greek, Greek island, island where everything uh -huh. is white and white. Light blue? Yeah, exactly. Mykonos and Santorini, two islands. Two islands. Those two islands. Mm -hmm. Greece. Mm -hmm. I heard that's beautiful. Did you know what? Talking about uh, what was it? Bitcoin City. Mm -hmm. I, I thought about Santorini when they, when they talked about Bitcoin City because of the pictures. And I really? thought about if you have gone to El Puerto de la Libertad, mm -hmm. to La Bascula, there is a hill, a huge hill called La Bajada del Toro, le dicen los locales. We, mm -hmm. we used to call it Loja del Toro. So I always wonder, man, that, that hill will be beautiful like Santorini because you have the view of the ocean, you know. Maha. There's a beautiful hill. Uh, have you heard about Cerro Mar? Yeah, where they have built the street, the Surf City Road. It's near, mm -hmm. near to it's near, near Surf City. Yeah. It's beautiful place, beautiful houses with privileged view. Beautiful. You, you wouldn't believe it's El Salvador. Yeah. Believe me. Yeah, I know. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me choose one more question. Okay, baby. Okay. Let's see. Huh. Easy. Wendy. 
what is the first thing you do in the morning? What is the very, very first thing that you do in the morning? Is I say good morning uh, of my husband. To my. To my husband, yes. Really? Yes, all day. Yes, teacher, you really? can, uh, you can ask. <laughs> You can ask him. You can ask him. No, you, I, you go like you, 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 you. No, I don't like to me. You turn and you go like. Go, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Okay. Good. 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 Hmm. Oh my God. Hmm. Luis Ernesto. Luis Ernesto, if you knew. You only had 24 hours left to leave. What would you do? Oh, it's very difficult. Maybe <laughs> say goodbye to my family and do a thing I want to do before I die. What is it? I want to learn to pilot uh, airplane. So you will steal an airplane and fly it by yourself. Yeah. Hey, it's never too late. Why don't you try it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Maybe vacations are coming. Yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. One last question, uh, Andres. What is the best part of your day? The most amazing part of your day, Andres? When I finish to work. I was expecting to say, you know what, what I was expecting, right? Oh, seeing you, teacher, I'm in my English class. It's like, <laughs> hey, come on. One point, you just missed one point. When, <laughs> when you finish the day, wait. You don't drive, right? There's no traffic where you live. No, I just go walking. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Okay, great job, guys. I know you love to speak when, when it comes to a natural approach, you know. So let's keep going. Hey. I have a I, doubt. Yep, yeah, please. Uh, how can I say... Uh, for example, mango verde, mango sazón, or mango maduro. Okay, that's a tough one. I'm gonna have to park it because I don't know. I mean, uh, and I knew it, you know. I knew I'm it. Mango. The what? <laughs> Green, yellow. <laughs> I can't remember. Mature. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Red, you got me. <laughs> No, no, no. There is a way to say. It. When I was working at 7-Eleven, right. Okay, Maduro is right. Right. R I P E. Yeah. 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 Uh, now for the other, hmm. there is another word. There is. Uh, hmm. You know, it's just that sazon will be like the proper. The proper condition for a fruit. Mm -hmm. the proper condition for a fruit, for an avocado, mm -hmm. for example. Have you watched the video on TikTok? Not yet, not yet. Oh, too late, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the proper condition for a fruit. Uh, now, still green, you wouldn't say still green if, if a fruit is still not ready. They an American will tell you, you know, it's not ready yet. It's greeny. Maybe it's greeny. It's not ready yet. Like we used to have this vocabulary on 7-Eleven. I'll prepare something for you because there's a lot of vocabulary regarding food, when the food is corroded, when the food is moldy. You know what is moldy? Mm -hmm. What does it sound like? It sounds like mold. Moldy, and you touch the cheese, and it's like 
sticky. Mm -hmm. So it has mold on it. No? Musgo, moldy. Then, okay, that this kind of words. Okay, talking about vocabulary, I'm going to send you something for you to study later. I mean, if you really need it, this is amazing. I found a dictionary. I found a dictionary to talk about warehouse. It's got a long index, a long index. I just send it to you, I can reference it. But it goes from the A to the Z. Talking about warehouse um, vocabulary. In fact, it is a warehouse dictionary. You have ABC analysis, ABC classification. Do you remember, I don't know if you started this, but the ABC system is a, is a system that maintains financial and operating data on an organization's resources. Now, I have a question for you just to introduce this topic about warehouse. Um, <clears throat> if you think about a company, any company, that you name, has an inventory. Any company that you name has a warehouse, whether they use it to store product or to store, you know, to store um, values, values. And what we were doing with Haiti, you know, talking about the save, the money, there is something more and is also important for banks. What do you think it is? Document seals. Documents. Documents. Seals and customers. The system. What, Luis? The server, the system. Servers. Nowadays, it's servers, right? But back in the days, a whole bunch of papers. <laughs> no, like, my God. Information, right? Right. Very I mean, do you know that somebody can know about you by looking at your credit history, how you spend your money. Easy, okay, easy. You, you never have money on your account. Mm -hmm. Okay, that tells, that talks. And there's a saying, money talks, money talks. So it comes from this part of life, you know. When you grow up, you start spending your money, you earn money, Spend money. Raul Mojica. Raul Mojica. Time equals money. Right? So when you spend money, you're spending your time. Raul Mojica, ex, uh, former, former, it's not ex, oh, it's not ex, it's former president of Uruguay. Former president of Uruguay. Who was the former president of El Salvador? Funes. Okay. And before Funes, who was the former president? Saka. Saka. Okay. So former, former. Okay. But you don't say my former girlfriend. Right. <laughs> Just be careful. Okay. Ex girlfriend. Former is in a professional ending, let's say. Okay. So warehouse. It is important for every company. Um, and if you think about it, you could distinguish the parts of the body. And, you know, if we make this uh, comparison between the body and a company, what part of the body will it be, the warehouse? Hmm. Your stomach? Oh my God, I thought the same. Come see, because I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Okay, no, I don't know. That was a bad example. But you got the idea. It's very important. In fact, um, when I was studying uh, the technical career in industrial engineering, the first stage, because they, they teach you administration, but they uh, put you into a company, they paid you half the minimum, 
half the minimum back then was like back then was like oh my god 174.50 and a half that is 75 oh my god 77 87.25 cents a month that was my salary back in 2002 2002 2002 87 let's say 88 a month for one year, that was my that my payment as an apprentice, okay, as a pupil. And every time you used to start in the warehouse as an auxiliary of the warehouse, and later as a manager or a supervisor of the warehouse. Why? Why do you have to start, let's say, as a warehouse auxiliary or as a supervisor. What is important? Why is it important for a company for you to know the warehouse? In fact, if you go through an induction process in a company, in a manufacturing company, the very first place that you get to know, the warehouse. Why? Because there is the the product for sales, and there is a lot of money invested in the products. Invested, uh-huh. In invested in the, in the products. Okay, perfect, Luis. Talking about money still, huh? Someone else? Josue, Andres, Fernando, Ada, Carolina, William, Sandy, oh, Miguel is one. Uh-huh. Andra. What is, why is it important other than money? What does the warehouse hold? What does the warehouse hold? That because maybe, maybe because uh, in the warehouse, you handle the, the inventory of your, your company or, or maybe you have many, many warehouses and you have to know how the inventory works in your company. How how re register the incomes, the outcomes of the warehouse, and how handle the inventories. You use a method specific, and how how for a specific method that you use. Uh, if you, for example, if you uh, are applying to to a position job for a warehouse, you have to. To know that terminology job position good you have to know for me term. it's also important because help you take decisions uh, but you, if but to... you don't take you don't take new employees to the safe right no no, no. <laughs> okay no. No, i mean continue. i mean i mean if you need to produce more of, of any product or stop production helps you take decisions hmm. Depending on the inventory, right? Mm. Mm. So you take decisions around your inventory. Keep that thought. Keep that thought. Okay, I'm gonna do the attendance is 901. So we can move on. Keep the thoughts that we have so far. Don't lose them. Let me see. Okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Doc. Present. Present, <laughs> present. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carolina Yvette Romero Bellino. Present, teacher. Welcome. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Awesome. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Still alive. Jose Antonio Cuyas Hernandez. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. 
Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present, teacher. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Yes. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. And it's not with us today. Okay, good. So we were saying, Haiti mentioned something important. What was it? Somewhere else. I want to hear if you were paying attention. Erwin, um, hmm. what was Haiti saying? Your microphone. Hi, teacher. Haiti saying, oops, in the past, today. Yeah, right now, before I did the attendance. Ah, the water, the water house. About the, the import, the water house man, uh, money, uh, management. Management. Management, yes. It's a, the, uh, she spoke about this one, and she, she told something, I don't remember this is so easy. More or less, I, 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 I oh, but that was so. before. That was before. Yes. Oh, okay. But Good. the warehouse, the manager, but the warehouse. Manager, uh, warehouse manager, sorry. Okay. So, but for me, but for me, the, the warehouse is so important in, in our company. Why? Be ah, because the product will be just on time if the warehouse make a good work. Just on time, the product. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a product, you never sell anything. And that, my friends, is called inventory stock or stock of inventory. Hey, yes. dimension. Thank you. Thank you, Erwin. Hey, dimension that you, as a company, you make decisions based on the inventory. You know, thinking about your inventory. Uh, remember that we talked about this before when you were planning something, the distribution, how much product you can distribute. Are you ready to supply your customers with a hundred units, remember? Yes. So this is tied up, this is tied up with the inventory stock. And it's true, did you know that the sales, uh, the sales projection in accounting, in good companies project their sales based on the fluctuation of their inventory. Simple, right? How many times a year your inventory rotates? And there's a name for this. I'm gonna give $10 to the person who remembers. No, I'm just kidding, guys, I have no money. But remember, there was a term, I remember, I, there's a term for the rotation of the inventory. What was it? Mm -hmm. Starts with a T and is composed by two words. One of them is T and the other one is O. Really? <laughs> Don't remember, nobody remembers. Okay, it's easy. The inventory turnover. And it's one word actually, turnover. Okay. The rotation of the inventory, the inventory turnover. So depending on your or stock rotation too. Stock rotation, right? Stock turnover. How many times a year? you turn over your inventory. It went from full to empty, full to empty. Let's say you did it three times. Good job. So now let's project for the next year. And you do your planning based on that. Do we need a bigger warehouse? 
What do you think? Next year? Okay. Okay. So that's, I think that's what Haiti was trying to infer that, yeah, you make your decisions based on your inventory. And yes, just start on the warehouse because it's the heart of the companies where you have all your money. It's not just in banks. You have all your money on products. Okay. On raw material. Right. And etc. So you got the idea. That's what we're talking about today. And I love to uh, manage inventories of tires. I, I managed an inventory of tires once. Even being on human resources is managing inventory. Inventory of employees and for call centers. It's a reality, a huge reality. And I bet you there are call centers that rotate their human resource inventory at least once a year. Sadly, but yes, sad but true. They just rotate at least 20, 30% of their human resource inventory is rotating, rotating every year. It's crazy. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way it goes. So I'm talking too much. Any observations? Anybody wants to infer something, wants to say something about the topic before we jump into it? Nope. Okay. So the first question to all break the ice regarding this topic. This is page 25. We're on page 25. Um, what will happen if the warehouse of a very busy, what will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches it, oh, 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 reaches its, there's an S here, please, if you can add it on your book, I would appreciate it, reaches its maximum capacity. How will, okay? What is missing here, guys? How will avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? How would... What is... Aha, good, Fernando. The subject. How will you avoid? How will it? How will they? What is more convenient here, Heidi? Everybody, grammar, grammar. What is more convenient here? It, they, you? I think it, right? How will it, the company, how will it avoid overcrowding? Do you understand overcrowding? Okay, yeah. Beautiful Spanish. I love your Spanish. Come on. Okay. Overcrowding. Although, Heidi, what's the right term for, for this in the inventory? Overcrowding. You just mentioned it. Uh, it's like saturation. Yeah. Beautiful Spanish. <laughs> you just said it. You said it. Stop. Nice right. stop. So over stocking. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Compound word. Okay. How to avoid overstocking in a warehouse? That makes more sense, right? How to avoid. How will it avoid overstocking or overcrowding in a warehouse? Okay. So what will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? What do you think will happen? Very busy. I don't know. Okay. And is the if 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 um, a warehouse over is overcrowded is because you don't sell your inventory, or because you're producing more than than your sales. Exactly. Totally right, and this is the whole topic, guys. How do you control that? Are you supposed to guess? Guess how many products you're supposed to have on your inventory? So let's 
go ahead and talk about these two questions just for five minutes, eight, eight minutes, and we come back to move on with the topic, okay? Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Wendy. Going to share. We can share the. Uh, we. Uh, I can share. Yeah. Because the house disabled the screen sharing yeah you can do it now. Hmm. okay but are the two questions what will happen if the warehouse of very busy company reaches its maximum capacity mm, well mm, it's a problem it <laughs> It means the the company has some problems uh, when the sales they are not selling. Um, the inventory should have a should have a time limit, I guess. Um, Maybe the sales uh, isn't, isn't going well, or maybe they are expanding and they are producing more and they have to get more warehouses. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, usually the companies has a maximum and minimum for inventory for each product. So Surely a company has has yes. mm -hmm. for each product has a, a minimum and maximum in, in, in the stock maximum. And uh, that usually they, they use they use a, an application or system that uh, shows alerts when the inventory alerts. has reached alerts has reached the, the maximum or the minimum. Or on a, on a product because they have to, to handle it, handle it that. Yeah, but I think is um, Caroline. I think I like uh, Caroline because if the company is in maximum capacity in a warehouse, it could be a problem because they are not selling. They are producing more than they can sell, and is not good because uh, they can handle uh, her inventory in a, in a better way. 
just just because they they can stop producing the, their product, but they yeah, but have to. They have. They have, they have to. To mode of inventory. Yes. Another class for the overcrowding, overcrowding. What do you think about that question, Andres? Yes, I agree with you. Companies have to do a, a better control of, of orders to have a much less equilibrium. Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Balance. My balance uh, uh -huh, of the sales and products. Mm -hmm. What do you say or how do you say? How do you say? Balance, yeah. A good balance mm -hmm. of the, yeah, the uh, from and the inventory. production, mm -hmm. yeah, the production mm -hmm. and the purchase orders. Mm -hmm. And what do you think, William? Huh. Yeah, and the first question, mm, you are selling less than you are producing production. And how would avoid overcrowding in our warehouse? Yeah, uh, we have to check or your your inventory and your stock. Logistic is a part, uh, uh, in a very important part in that process because the logistic starts when you buy the raw materials for the production, the major product, and satisfy all the purchase orders uh, to the whatever uh your retailers or uh, or or where you sell your products so if you don't have a, a control of the productions and your purchase order uh, maybe uh, you can um, manage uh, very well the your stocks and you in, in your company you have uh, more products that you, that the product that you can sell you have to make a, a plan uh, because you have to avoid uh, that situation because you can have um, um, serious problems, financial problems in your company if you don't have any order. 
with your stocks. Uh, I don't know, Miguel Angel, are you there? Um, no, Miguel is actually working. Oh. He's here as a listener. Okay. Trying to do something fun for you. Yes, it's gonna work. Uh, okay, let's take it back. Okay, is that difficult? Let's see, right? Okay, for our next act, we have a short conversation on the same page, but this time I wouldn't like to take that long um, period of time, you know, on this short conversation. In fact, it's a very short conversation. Let's just practice it here without being splitted. Let's just work around it. So <clears throat> it says, I'm going to read it really quick for you. Rose and Matt, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store to store our products, products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange, arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked, repeat, they asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly. I repeat, it is costly, but the products come first. Okay, long time without doing this. Volunteer, say me and your name. Me, Fernando. Good. One more. William. Me, William, okay. And then we'll go with Luis, and who's gonna read with Luis? Hey, teacher. Yuri. Yuri. Okay. Ready? Let's go for one, two, three. Action. Okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to sell our products. There is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked for if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Ooh, very good. Just the word arrange. Arrange. 
is arrange. Arrange. We go. Okay, Luis, you go with Judy. Okay. Sorry. Sir, we have, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipping arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documentation ready to outsource this shipment to the a temporal warehouse. It's, it is costly, but the products come first. Excellent. Just don't forget, don't eat words. That is a very expensive shipment. And Yuri, you say left. 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 Mm -hmm. They okay. asked. Luis, they asked. Uh, Okay. Still, right? oh, oh, that's good. Okay. Ask. Okay. And yes, this is the final ED sound or um, voiceless verse, right? Ask. Okay. Ask. Do it again, Luis. Ask. Ask. Yeah. In fact, so many Americans actually don't do that. You know, they just say asked, asked. For example, with the word received, I say received, 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 or ticket. Uh, when you buy something, received. But many Americans I have been listening to receipt, receipt. Yeah. Receipt with T. Uh -huh, just the T, that's really weird for me. Okay. Since I don't want you to be bored, well, let's answer these questions together. What happened to Matt's current warehouse? Mm -hmm. What happened to Matt's current warehouse? We don't have enough uh, space to receive the new shipment. The new ship and they didn't have enough space. Very good. Thank you, Luis. What could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? Mm. What could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? The products will get damaged. Perfect, repeat, damaged. Damaged. Perfect. Ooh, you got it, damaged. That, that even sounds sexy, you know, damaged, damaged. Okay, what does Matt do about the problem? Ask for another warehouse. Hmm. A temporal warehouse. A temporal warehouse. Good, Arita. Thank you. Yes. A temporal warehouse. But what happens with that warehouse? Is it going to be less expensive or more expensive? More expensive. More expensive. Possibly. More expensive, right? More expensive. <clears throat> totally. True. Okay. Next page. And this is uh, the vocabulary that you need to acquire today. Warehouse management, I need, I need some help here. Uh, who wants to read? Uh, me, uh, me Let's go. Ready? One, two, three. Warehouse management. Warehouse management is the control of the day to day operation of the warehouse, such as the shipping, receiving, put away, and picking of goods. Hmm. Is it the same as stock control? Hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sulema. Any new words here? 
compound words. Maybe put away. Put away, okay. Put aside, store. You know, this, this racial verb, I got confused with this racial verb when I first saw it. What do you think is to put away? Put away sounds to me like apartar. Right, apartar, exactly. But in reality, when you come from the supermarket, you put away, you put away all the groceries onto the cupboard, the, um, the how do you say that? How do you call this? Pantry, right? We say, we say pantry in Salvador. When you put away all the, the groceries from the supermarket, we put them away into the pantry into the uh, Alacena, Google, Alacena, oh my mother, my brain. Alacena. Ala, no, Alacena, <laughs> no de ir a Alacena. For you store things. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, Cupboard. Alacena de cocina. Mm -hmm. Where you store your goods. Where you store your food. Cupboard. Cupboard, right? Yeah, cupboard. Is there any other way? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the same pantry. Anyways, so yeah, you put away everything. So you keep everything. You save everything on its place. That's the meaning of put away. Got it? Okay. And speaking of goods, is it the same as stock control, uh, Ada, please? The stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. And warehouse man management is a way to maximize the efficiency and the effectiveness of warehouse operation. Good, Doc. Thank you. Repeat, maximize. Maximize. Repeat. Okay. Efficiency. Efficiency. Say, uh, you said well. You said effectiveness, and here you say warehouse. 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 Perfect. Warehouse. Efficiency. Inventory. Maximize. Effectiveness. Warehouse. No, no se les olvide buscar la. Entonación, right? Donde está el estrés de la ciudad. Okay, good. So let's define which one. Is it A or B? Tells you where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked. Chosen. Is it A or B? Everybody. Look at the second one. It means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. B. So the second one is B and the first one is A. Yes. Yes. Yeah, right. Warehouse management. Where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked, managing the inventory, managing the stock, the, the control. I'm sorry, the stock. And the second one, it means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. Stock control. And yes, as we were saying, the minimum and maximum of products we have. Now, you can do this, please. Uh, tomorrow we will continue with this, but I, want, I have an activity for you. Okay, I just made something a little bit funny, you know, uh, for you to do that. I'm thinking, how should we do this? Should we get split it? 
or should I just throw it to you so you can do it together here? Mm, nah, let's go in small groups and look at your chat. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, let's find these 12 words. If you can, let's see who finishes first. So the first one to finish can ring the bell. El primero que termine puede tocar la campana, es decir, llamar al teacher a su grupo. Ok. Y ahí termina el juego. Ok. Good. Got it. I'm so excited to share this with you and you're so falling asleep. Come on. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's see who, okay. who finishes first. A ver quién termina primero. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have a TV. Maximum. Um. We we can uh, find different words. I choose one, and another can choose another, another word. For okay, I have activity in maximum. Okay, occurrence and uh, again. I have minimum. Okay, yeah, I have again. Uh, let's see. Stop. I have a currency. I have active. Okay. Active.
I have barcode. Okay. Uh, activity? Did you uh, I find have activity. It? Yeah, okay. I have activity. And I have activity. barcode, barcode, minimum, and maximum. Okay. No lo vayas a mover más. Vamos para allá. Uy, uy, uy. Ay no. Oh, yeah. I love your Spanish. Oh, <laughs> oh no. My mouse is it's, it's crazy. Okay. Activity maximum. That. <laughs> I love your Spanish. How do you say beautiful in English in, in Salvadorian? Hi. Gorgeous. Uh, in Salvadorian. <laughs> yeah, we talk like that. <laughs> you say chulada. We fail. Yeah. Yes. You have problems with your hands. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Google is failing. <laughs> my mouse is which one? Oh, my, wow, my mouse doesn't work. Uh, do you have a rat or a mouse? <laughs> it's a magic mouse. Very good. Okay. Oh, I got one like that too. Yeah. Copy. Stop copying me. Yeah, that's an Apple mouse. Too. <laughs> but it doesn't work. Oh, Fernando. Yeah, this, this one works. Stop dropping your mouse. Your mice. Stop dropping your mice. Well, okay. Sir, come on, guys. Come one, on. Two. One, two, three, four, five. What is the red line? Three. Minimum. No, there, there's something else. Oh, minimum too. Where? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh Fernando. <laughs> 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 Why don't you use the, the 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 line? Don't use the pencil. Use the line, the straight line. <laughs> Come on, take a screenshot after you do it. Come on, there's gotta be a line, Fernando. Yes, a straight line. Vaya, corremos todo y lo voy a ver aquí en la pantalla. What? 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 <laughs> Let's erase everything. Yes, but that is, that is... Every, everybody should be able to, you know, draw on the screen. That's what I'm going to do when, when we come back. Okay, keep, keep, keep going. I'm, I want to interrupt you. Don't move the screenshot, please. <laughs> Aquí tengo la captura que saqué antes de barco, what, what word, barco, barcode, ah, barcode. Yes, barcode. Aquí, este ve, bar, ay, 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 barcode, va, tenemos barcode. De ahí teníamos este de aquí, todo. Sí, do. Eh, what words? F, B, ajá. What? Active, maximum, ajá. Accuracy, lo que dijo William. Y ahí, está, ahí hay una también a la par de esa, está. Mínimo. Ajá. Andres just finished. Uh oh. Ahí. Uh, Buscate una S. Ahí está. Ahí está. Liars. Eh. Liars. No, we found that. No, estuvo. Estuvo. It, it was only a, uh, only a letter. This one letter. It was only a letter uh -huh, that we let's had in mind. Let's see. Barcode. Uh, audit. Audit. Okay. Stock. You have twice stock? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that's funny. Activity, activity, activity. Oh, yeah. By FIFO. 
You know what is FI of home? Yes, per in, first out. Hey, you got it, this. First in, first out. Maximum, minimum. What? What is that? Which one? Aging, right? Aging. Aging. Yeah, aging. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Where's the S I S? Hmm. Analysis. <laughs> Accuracy. Yeah, you got it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Got it. Great job, guys. Okay. Let's see if the others that make it. Okay. Take a screenshot. Where are the others? I will never eat chicken wings at night anymore. Something I must not do. Okay, okay. Guys, I'm turning 40 next month. Don't forget about your teacher, okay? I'm turning 40, oh my God. <laughs> this can't believe it. Hey, but uh, do you know what? To be positive, I think I'm saying to myself, this is the half of my life. Perhaps the age of my, bro my brother. Oh, my really? big brother. Yes. Your big brother is 40. Well, it could be your big brother. <laughs> uh, this is the half of my life. I th I'm thinking to make it to 80. What do you think, uh, 80? Nicole, 80. How old are you? I'm not saying it again, I'm sorry. Why? <laughs> I'm becoming 40 next month, so they must believe it. And what's the problem? I, I just can't believe it. Let's start coming. What? You look young, you look younger. Yeah, because I'm always happy. Yeah. Now I look younger, but fatty. <laughs> you are not fatty. I'm a little bit chubby. Haiti, what did you say? Classes are coming soon. For what? Because you, when you turn forty, your eye, your eyes start failing. Oh, glasses! I heard you say glasses. <laughs> glasses. <laughs> glasses. No, no, I don't want to wear glasses. Or you may see me with blue eyes next module. I don't. Know. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That would be creepy. Okay, let's continue. Let's see if, if you made it. Um, how do I share this thing? Hold on. Where is it? Here. So it's going to be G11. So, yep. Right here. That doesn't look so well. It does. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm not gonna move my mouse. So if you want to draw on the screen, go ahead. Show me where each word is because I haven't done it. I guess you miss a uh, part of the of the chart. No, 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 no yes. it's cool. It's complete. Um, I think no. Not really, it is. Look. Yeah. There's nothing above or beyond, above or below. 
Okay. There you go. If I move my mouse, I will lose it. In fact, let me do it. something here else. Okay. So you have barcode, stock, William, maximum, Suleyma, Caroline, active, minimum. Okay, accuracy, activity, yeah. Okay, what else? Stock again, I don't know why there was, why F-I-F-O, okay. While you do this, Luis is going to explain us what is F-I-F-O? It's very simple. <laughs> Wait. I'm counting nine. Which words are we missing? It is a call. Mm -hmm. Aging. Yeah. We're missing aging. Aging. There you go. Aging. Analysis. Aging and analysis. Okay, good. Jury, thank you guys. That was amazing. Jury, what is F I F O? First input, first output. First in, first out. So in terms of inventory. This is LIFO and LIFO is the other right here. What, again? LIFO, LIFO. Hmm. That's in, first out. Last in, first out, that's right. It's not coffee. <laughs> okay. First out, first in, <laughs> no. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Fernando. You got it. L I F O. Last in, first out, which is another way of saying F I F O. But what about the opposite? Is there an opposite? Is there a different way of taking out your product? Mm -hmm. oh. We use a counter here. Who's an accountant? Who's an accountant? Who knows about inventory management? We'll see that tomorrow, but really quick. Uh, any term that you didn't know? Uh, that you think is difficult or aging aging what i just mentioned i'm becoming 40. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god Salima. i'm aging but you know i'm like the wine i'm like the wine the older the better yeah. We're all like the one. That's aging. Okay. That aging. Next module, I'm gonna go like, hello guys. Let's study. Okay. Let's go. Welcome to Intermediate Five. <laughs> Let's go. Guys. Okay. Did you like the class? Yes. This a lot. Yes. A little bit more interesting topic, right? Talking right. about inventory. We'll talk about efficiency of inventory tomorrow and how, how you can handle it because you know in the end uh this even works for your house believe it or not go to your kitchen after the class don't eat don't eat okay <laughs> just check check your inventory your personal inventory and find out what is what what has been on the fridge for at least one week that's interesting. 
Okay. How long have you had that cheese in your fridge? Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me do the attendance. I'm staying tonight with Johnny. How do you feel, Johnny? Can we go for 10 minutes? Yeah. Uh, meeting, okay, awesome. Wait a minute. Okay, missing three minutes, okay, good. Let's do the attendance, where is it? Oh, chicos, un paréntesis. Antes de cerrar la clase, nos quedan dos minutos. Eh, necesito recordarles, por favor, que se pongan las filas con sus eh, documentos para la inscripción del intermedio 5. Si no lo han enviado, si no se han dado cuenta, ya se les envió a Recursos Humanos. Entonces, es importante que tú como alumno estés presionando el de Recursos Humanos y todos los días, ¡ay, qué pasó! ¡ay, qué pasó! ¡ay, qué pasó! Ya estuvo, ya estuvo. Y si te dice, sí, ya estuvo, llama a Inglés Corporativo y verifica. ¿Ok? El interesado sos tú, ¿no? So, suele ocurrir, ante todo, si tu empresa es grande, de ocurrir que el de recursos humanos este, se le va a la chaveta. Ups. Fíjate que este viernes 10 de diciembre es el último día para inscribir. Ojo, ¿eh? ¿Alguien tiene problemas con eso? ¿Alguien aún no ha enviado su documentación? En mi caso creo que no lo han enviado aún, pero era por un caso de que tengo unos compañeros que dejaron de asistir, entonces... No sabía si, o sea, de recursos no sabía si por eso Insafor nos podían sancionar, pero yo hablé con uno de, de inglés corporativo y me dijo que no había problema, porque uh -huh. no era problema mío, sino que era el problema de mis compañeros. Uh -huh. O sea, conmigo, pues, como la inscripción es individual, me dijo que, a, que él podía inscribir a mí, no me afectaba. Perfecto, eso sí es, lo escucharon todos, pero eso es individual, o sea, si tenés cinco compañeros. Uh -huh es que por culpa de ellos vas a ver, te vas a ver afectado, ¿no? Eso es algo, ese es un beneficio personal que tenés con Insafor, eh, porque pagas el 1% del seguro, ¿verdad? Igual que otros cursos, ahí hay Excel avanzado, mi esposa va a agarrar Excel avanzado y el corporativo este mes. So, ya. Yeah. Think about it, por favor, pendientes con esos documentos para que los pueda volver a ver el otro año de principios. Esperamos empezar a mediados de enero, si es que yo estoy con ustedes, si es que aún me quieren con ustedes, yo no sé, ¿verdad? Okay, Divina Providencia. Let's go. I'll see you tomorrow. A la Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, it's good night. Good night, Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, good night. Good night, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher, good night. Good night, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night, Katie hey, Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, good night. Good night, Irene Susana Cuellar Alvarez. Today, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, teacher. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher, good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Estaba. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Muñorellana, Sandra Elizabeth y Suerto Romero. Present, good night. Good night, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present, good night. Good night, Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, good night. Good night, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Who's here? Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Okay, good night, guys. Take care. Johnny. Sure. What's up? So you went to the doctor? Yeah. Went to the doctor. Tell me about it. What happened? What did he say? I went to the uh, say seguro. <laughs> to the is, uh huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, I have been there for three three days. What? So you were admitted? 
you were admitted yeah. to the hospital? Yeah, I, when they put a, uh, how you say, nebulization. nebulization. They know, uh, yeah, yeah. They, they put oxygen on you. Yeah, and they put it to me. So for you to be able to breathe. Yeah, I can breathe. I breathe, I can, I can I breathe. couldn't. I you can, couldn't breathe. Sorry, couldn't, couldn't breathe. breathe. How are you now? Now, uh, they get me some, I don't remember, soup, some of the old, something like that. And that's made me feel better. And with an ebullition. Mm -hmm. And now I feel better, but uh, um, I I don't have to, for example, to to out to run to go to, out to run mm -hmm. to get yeah. exhausted. You cannot get exhausted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have to 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 make work out. Uh, oh. Yeah, I can hear your breathing. It's really heavy breathing. Okay, how do you feel? Should we continue? You okay? Yeah, okay. yeah. So how was your your time in the hospital? Uh, was, um, there, bad. Terrible? <laughs> bad? Terrible, terrible, okay. terrible. Did they give yeah. you food? Did they feed you? Yeah, they give me food, and the food I I I, I can't uh, complain. Yeah, I, I was a little this delicious, <laughs> but Jelly? um, what did you eat? Um, I say potatoes. Potatoes. You say puree. P potato. Smashed, potato. smashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes with air, air and salad. Only like that, mm. but uh, and the problem uh, is that then you look there inside the hospital. Mm -hmm. That's you... is terrible. <laughs> and the smell. Yeah, the smell, smell like and bleach. And, and the other, some the other people. Well, the people. Who uh, was near to me? They what did they order? But terrible, <laughs> terrible. Okay. So how long did you? Three days. Three days. Which seguro social? Yes. Um. I don't know. You know, it's a new. Um, Santa Ana. A new building? Yeah. A new uh, building in Santa Ana, uh, really? They know San Jose, ex San Jose. Um, no, but I, I knew uh, the East Santa Ana near to Estadio Oscar Quiteño. I used yeah. to live, I, yeah. used, I used to live very close to that. Mm, yeah. That, but it's a new, it's uh, near to, I just play, can you see? Um, it's near the, I don't remember the name of the park. A park? Yeah. yeah. And that uh, place is known as San Jose. Parque San Jose. Yeah. Oh, I know where it is, really. That far. Yeah, no. That's like, that's like downtown. Downtown. Well, but, but and now is the. It's better? Seguro. Is it better? Is bigger? Uh, it's a little. A little. A little bigger. Okay. Is it clean? You know, you get good attention. Yeah, 
Yeah. So, so. <laughs> so I can complain. I can complain. Okay, that's good. Did you study being in the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying in that. Then, yeah, then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, in uh, here, that, that thing. Really? You had <laughs> to. You say this in Trollosas. Wow. Man. Was was this a was this a sudden a sudden uh, issue? You know, was de repente it was a sudden sickness. Yeah, it's so strange how happened that. How that happened? How that happened? How it happened? How that because happened? Uh -huh. Was uh. Um, Wednesday mm -hmm. at night and like night. 9 p.m. Yeah. Like, and they started to, to have a problem with breathing. Breathing problems. Yeah. Oh my God. Did they, did they ever think that it was COVID at the Seguro? Um, I am thinking better to go to a, a private place. No, no, no. What I'm saying age. is that if when you arrive to the Seguro Social, if they thought, oh, this is COVID, you cannot breathe. Oh, or did they do a test? Did they make you an exam? They made me an exam. They... Think this queen that I know. You you don't know? No. No. Okay. Because I am uh, I am asthmatic, uh, asthmatic since asthmatic. yeah asthmatic since uh, I was a kid five years old, since but I never had a problem. Uh, I never. You never okay. got complicated. Yeah, yeah, complicated. Well, take care. Do you know what? There is a, a fruit in El Salvador called chichiwa. I don't know if you have heard about it. Chichiwa. I, I no? never hear. You never heard about it, chichiwa? No. It's yellow. It's like a tecomate, but really small. Yellow. And you boil, you boil, you know, back. Ya terminamos. Lo vas a hervir, la chichigua la ven en el centro. Lo vas a hervir y el vapor lo respiras. Eso cura la, te sana la, la gente que padece sinusitis, por ejemplo. ¿sí? Y los pulmones, esa onda te los expande, te los limpia, libera la respiración. Y la otra cosa es el aceite que preparan en la, en la San Nicolás, aceite gomenolado. Sí. Pero lo voy, lo voy a notar. <laughs> yeah, chichigua y aceite gomenolado. That's, that's very important. Uh, te digo porque mi hijo sí es, era, era asmático prácticamente, el nació alérgico. A los dos años se lo detectamos y pasé tres años inyectándolo por sus alergias. Inyecciones subcutáneas y todo, si me acuerdo. Y ahora pues ya está bien, pero cada cambio de clima, yo creo que eso te debe haber afectado. Um, cada chichico, de clima, chichigua. Chichi, chichi. Ajá, sí, ahí está. Chichi, voy a tener una foto. Bien chistosa esa fruta, no sé si es fruta o qué, pero sí te lo recomiendo mucho para que te cure ya de, del asma y primero Dios te ponga bien. Este, ahí te vendré mi madre. El grupo, como le está. Dudo que alguien conozca eso. Esas cosas. Ya. Okay. Yeah. Te voy a estar preguntando mañana en qué es eso que en el grupo. <laughs> ok. Bien, Johnny. Espero que sigas mejor descansada y pues, gracias por acompañarme 10 minutos. Eh, sigue estudiando y primero Dios que te recuperes pronto. Good night. Good night.